Blog Talk Radio. I'm your host, Davida Shensky, and you're listening to Live Without Limits. Now, today's show is titled Your Break Even Funnel. And if you're an entrepreneur building a business online, you need to understand how that when you are building a business online and you're doing marketing, you need to understand how to use a sales funnel because the Funnel is what takes people through the process of getting their names, build and, and adding it to an autoresponder and building that relationship. And it's an opportunity that you give them something free to get their name. Then you have the opportunity as you take them through the sales process to either upsell them or downsell them on getting products for you. And some may get it, some don't. But the idea is that you are going to be able to get the leads you need. And the expression is that the money's in the leads because when you have them in your autoresponder and you're sending them out emails on a regular basis, then it's giving you the opportunity to literally Build that relationship, and when you build a relationship with with your your potential customers to where they get to know, like, and trust you, you have the opportunity to create or have them become a customer, and not just a customer, but a loyal customer. I love deadlines. I like the whooshing and sound they make as they fly by says Douglas Adams. So I need, a, I need to set something straight. When you create your first funnel, the goal cannot be, and should not be, to make money. That goal is what keeps most entrepreneurs from making profits online. They stress out so much about it that it's going to make them profits, they either make bad decisions or they never launch the darn thing in the first place. So much so that the pressure on them is in making the right decision usually keeps it from ever going wide. My goal when we create any funnel is to get to the break-even point. If I could spend one dollar in advertising and then make one dollar out on the other side of the funnel, then I won. When I have a funnel, they can break even on cold traffic, not to my existing list, then I know that I have the tool that I need to grow that company. Now the reason if I can get a funnel to break even where I spend one dollar and I make one dollar. That means I get a customer for free. And that is the big secret. One of my early mentors told me that amateurs focus on the front end. At first, that didn't make much sense to me until I started to grasp the concept of the break even funnel. Very rarely in companies that I've grown and I'm profitable on my front end funnel. In fact, some lose money on the front end funnel. For example, a few months ago, Tim Schmidt from USCCA.com purchased my book, Dot Com Secrets. 
after reading the book, he called us up and paid $100,000 to hire me for $2 to come and work with his team on their funnels. When I got there, I walked into his office, and I saw the picture on his wall. I asked him why he printed out that picture and why it was on his wall. He told me, because that's the point, right? If we could break even on our front-end profit funnel, then everything else we sell those customers is pure profit. Yes, he gets it. After working with his team, we saw that his current funnel was actually a big loss later. It took them a few weeks after the initial sale to get a, to break even, but it was worth it for them because everything after that day was pure profit, and Tim had used that funnel to build a company that is doing well over 30 plus million dollars a year. When we first launched our supplement company, we, our first funnel took 45 days to break even. Well, that is it's good because everything after 45 days with pure profit, it stressed me out. Ha uh -huh. The second funnel got us to break even in about 14 days. And the funnel version of three got us closer than the fourth version on the funnel we launched. It didn't get break even. It tripled on the front end. And that means that for every $1 we spent in ads, we made back $3. Now, I want to stress that that doesn't happen that often. When it does, you should ride that wave fast and pull out as much profit as possible. But if it doesn't and it only breaks even and you only get unlimited customers, that is something to celebrate. So my question for you is, do you have a great even funnel yet? If so, you've got what you need to quickly scale a multi-million dollar company. If not, then it's probably time to get one, don't you think? Now, we've been talking about sales funnels, and I want to get into some things before I actually get into different stages of it. But one of the things that we forget is that using a sales funnel, it's, this is actually building an online business. But if you think about it and you compare with how companies market things, especially corporations, and how they utilize certain types of business practices to actually create business, because you can use sponsorship, if, especially like podcasting has become a really great tool for a business to get their name out there because when people consistently listen to your podcast, then they're getting to know you, they're getting to like you, and they're getting to trust you. And that's because you're actually giving them good information that can help them in the future. So, and this is actually also how the autoresponder works. It's usually a three-to-one or a four-to-one ratio where you're giving them good information and tips and tricks on anything that can help them in their business, and then you send them the sales letter. The idea being that you want to create open rates in your email, and by creating those open rates, then what are you actually doing? You're increasing the, the possibility that when you send out large amounts of email, that they will get into the, the inbox rather than the spam box. 
because that is all based on your rating, and your rating is based on how many people on your list actually open the email and read it. So it's not just the headline that you use or the body that you use. It's also understanding how to use certain keywords that are buzzwords within an industry. Understanding the stages of an online sales funnel. This marketing system was so named because in diagram, it looks like a funnel from the time your prospects get to know you until the moment they make a purchase decision. They go through a series of stages. This journey may differ from one prospect to another due to variables in your buyer persona, products, and niche types. So your sales funnel may be as many stages as possible. But in general, your online sales funnel should have the following four stages. Awareness. Awareness stage or the top of the funnel is the biggest one and contains the biggest number of people. This stage is a composed of leads, people who land on your website, either by choice or in need of your products or services. At this stage, prospects learn, doubt your site for the first time, either through Google search, ads, social network, referrals, email marketing, and so on. Every lead is a potential customer, and it's important to give a great first impression. Now, whenever you're setting up your pages for your sales funnel, they all need to be consistent from one page to the, to the other. You want the same colors. You want the same design. You want them to be able to actually look at it as a logo because when someone sees your colors and they see it in a way that it's all set up where it's done so that everything kind of works together, then what you're going to find is that you will have the opportunity to build your, 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 what I'm trying to say is that when people see the, the pages and they're consistent, then what you're doing is you're creating a, an awareness of who you are. Second stage is interest. At this stage, the prospect has already landed on your page and is actively looking for solutions to their problems. They express, they express interest in your products and services. They may take action, such as subscribing to your email list or even follow you on social media. This is the right stage to engage them with rich and unique content so as to keep them coming back over and over again. This is also known as your sales page. It's where you're giving them detailed information. It's where you're going to tell them what the benefits are of buying your course, what the features are that they can get out of it. And you're giving them such a detail that you're helping them to make a decision. Stage three, decision. At this stage, the prospects are deciding on whether to make a buying decision. They'll pay close attention to what you offer, plans, and pricing. Then perform a comparative analysis with what your competitors are offering. This is when various levels of sales offers are made using to retarget marketing, webinars, 
landing pages, and so on. What you are trying to do here is help the person to make the decision on whether to buy or not. That in phase two, you're creating the interest. You're giving them the information that can help them to make that decision. And then what you're doing in the decision is you're actually giving them the offer on what it is that they're going to get for when, when they purchase it, whether it's a bonus, whether it's a, a free coaching session, whatever it is that you are offering that you are getting them to the point where they will take action. And then stage four is action. And at this stage, the prospects decide to become a customer by buying from you. They are finalizing the deal by clicking the purchase button. If satisfied by your products or services, they might buy again from you to become loyal customers. Of course, depending on the nature of your business, there could be more stages to your sales model. Now, when they click and take action, what they're doing is they're telling you they have a strong interest in what it is that you are offering. So once you know that, what you want to be able to do is get them beyond that stage. So why your business needs an online sales funnel. A sales funnel helps you to define and understand your customer's buying habits, understanding how customers find you, why they find you, and why they stay or leave is the key to growing your business. Sales funnels also allow you to identify and target different members of your stage one audience based upon the initial content that they displayed interest in. Now, what happens is when people see your ad or they see information on Facebook or LinkedIn, whether it's through an article or however you're promoting something, then what they're doing is they're saying they have some interest in it, but you have to still take them through the process because the idea here is that you actually start building that relationship through your sales funnel. So don't think that just because someone clicks on and you and you get a lot of traffic to your website, it means that you're going to have an automatic sale because when you pay per click, well, each click is not worth more than 50 cents. So if you're paying more than 50 cents, then you're actually losing money. But if you can get them into the sales funnel and get at least their name and the email address and get it into your autoresponder, because what you need to do is have that landing page actually linked to an autoresponder. Therefore, you're collecting that and building your list. This is what they talk about when they talk about list building in any business of if that's online today. Here are a few reasons why your business needs an online sales funnel. An online sales funnel can help you focus on the right leads. Creating a sales funnel gives you insight into what leads to pursue. It lets you devote time and resources working with sales leads that are promising instead of spreading or spending too much time chasing bad leads, including preliminary steps in your leads, such as initial phone screening or initial email survey can allow you to understand and interact with your prospects. Every step of your interaction with prospects 
gives you an opportunity to learn more about them and figure out who is serious and who is not yet ready to buy. That's the importance of understanding and using the sales funnel correctly. The problem is that so many people don't really understand how to use a sales funnel. Now, Russell Bronson has a, a, a platform where he creates a number of sales funnels that you can pay $97 a month to join, and you have ready-made sales funnels. And then there's, I'm also on a site called Builderall where I can build my website, and, and they have actually outlines for specific sales funnels that whether or not knowing what types of leads you want to get, how to, but you actually also have access to a sales funnel where you don't have to go out and, and buy it. Now, they, they have a specific um, introductory program for their new sales funnel that if you want to get the sales funnels, then what you can do is for $199 down and $69 or $99 a month, you have access to sales funnels, but you also have access to all the other tools like autoresponders, building a website, setting up a chat box, also using and having a platform where you can create a, a actual webinar and make it evergreen. <coughs> So what you're doing is you're, you're giving yourself the opportunity to do things. And Russell Watson has a really great program, but if you want to get a sale, if you want needed a sales funnel to link it to, then you're going to have to go find another platform where you're going to pay monthly. And every time you increase the, the number of leads you get, then you're going to have to go to a next level of, what you're paying per month just to use that autoresponder. Whereas if you're using this on Builderall, you have access to linking all your sales funnels and creating different lists and being able to, to utilize that and tag it and, and, and create different ways of, of creating your emails that become your, your sales opportunity or ability to create and build those relationships with all your customers. Sort and rank sales leads. Having an online sales funnel will help you come up with an organized process for sorting, evaluating, and ranking your sales leads. The process will help you identify which leads require immediate attention? Which leads are more likely to buy? And which leads require a long-term nurturing and follow-up to convert them to customers? All leads have a different opinions and needs. Some will easily convert because loyal customers. Others are poor fit and will require a lot of attention and persuasion to build trust and establish a working business relationship. This is why when you're building your business, you really want to next down to who your actual customer is. Because even though it may look like you're working with a smaller group of people, you can really amass far more income by niching it down to a small group because you can really build a strong relationship with those small, that small little customers. And once you build that relationship with them, then you can always ask them for referrals. And that's how you really build a successful business today. Implementing long-term process for leads nurturing. This is particularly useful when you're dealing with complex, big account business-to-business -business sales. Switched sales take time, 
typically more than six months before a client can sign a contract and close the deal. In such cases, having a sales funnel with multiple points of contact over the engagement period is crucial. A sales funnel will keep you nurturing the leads by doing follow-up over the entire period until they make a buying decision. Attract the perfect leads to your business. An online sales funnel, if enriched with the right content, will attract new leads to your business. In an ever-evolving business world that is saturated with new business opportunities and plenty of opinions for consumers, it can be difficult to beat the competition. Instead of making the efforts to attract every lead, a well-structured sales funnel can let you speak directly to your leads. Furthermore, you don't need to attract every lead, just the right ones. That's why it's so important to understand who your niche market is so that when you're creating your sales funnel, when you're writing sales copy, you're actually gearing it towards the people that you consider your customers. Online marketing is a numbers game, and with each marketing exposure, you can qualify or quantify the number of customers, then use the data to forecast sales over a certain period of time. When you have a well-organized sales funnel and you have analyzed the number of prospects whom you have established a working relationship with, then you can use it to predict sales volume. All of these things are tools that will help you to build an online business. And I'm going to finish up slowly by reminding you that we have actually been moving in this direction for a number of years because in the beginning of websites, it, it wasn't really about having an online business as much as if you had a brick and mortar store, you needed a website because if you remember, not only do we have Black Friday, but we have Cyber Monday. And more and more people today are actually buying online. So if you perfect how you utilize a sales funnel, then you can literally help yourself build a very successful business. And you can go to my website, and that website is the number one personalcareercoach.com, or you can go to this website, the number one best business building opportunity, business building tools.com, simply because if you go to that website, then you can sign up for and get the sales funnels that can help you with growing and expanding your business. And you also get one-on-one -on -one time with me and courses on how to build a, a and use digital marketing to grow your business today's marketplace. And the competition is only going to be getting more fierce and growing in the next few years.